everyone and thank you so much for joining me back into Ostrov. My name is Axfield. With today's episode, we're going to further extend the farming side of things. And uh, I want to utilize the open space that we've got on this side. Now off screen, I've taken out a bit more of the forest here on this side. Uh, for those of you that are new, we are playing on the latest map that came with the last update. And this is the only map that will make you completely independent from any other town. So you don't have to do any trades. If you feel like it, you can be completely self-sustaining. So that is what I want to achieve with the series. And if you are new to the series and to this channel, please do remember to subscribe as well as press the bell notification button so that you may stay updated on the series as well as other games that's similar to this one. Now you can see the town has been growing really nicely. I've added a lot of vegetation in between the buildings here just to give it a little bit more life and uh, yeah it's looking pretty good. I've added some more paved road and systematically I'll just add the paved road as we go. I try I'm trying to kind of preserve the stone that we've got until we've got a mining camp set up on this side which will give us unlimited stone and uh, yeah then I think we'll be pretty well sorted for the stone and then I'll also start incorporating the stone bridges but at this stage I'm using a lot of the stone for the more modern buildings that we've got and that we are starting to place like for example the row houses so I do want to maybe add another one or two of the row houses here on this side in this episode and then what I'm going to do is on this side I'm going to add orchard as well as farming fields uh, crop fields so what I want to specifically add is additional sunflower and wheat and then also maybe one or two fields of hemp which we use obviously for the cloth production. So with that also being said I want to get my first pigsty so that we can start getting some pork meat and salo and uh, yeah I'm going to feed the pigs with wheat because we've got so much of it. Honestly we've got a lot of wheat so <laughs> I think it's a good way to just cull the wheat numbers a little bit and uh, yeah so let me first start by maybe placing the orchards i think i'm gonna go for the apple orchards i feel they do last longer the apples as well as they are a good trading commodity i think there's two or three towns that does purchase uh, apples from you so we're going to kind of like squeeze it in here i don't want to make it too big and i want to try and keep it close to the residential buildings and also square with the residential buildings. So let's see if we can do that quickly. Oops. So I'm going to make two of these right next to each other. I think that's good, good start for us for the orchards. And I'm going to place the little house right by the gate. So we can utilize all the backspace here for the orchards. And let's just do another one. Here we go. Right, and we can squeeze this building also to the front, and just like that. So I've also here by the river, you can see I've added a little bit more vegetation, a few more trees, and uh, starting to look very lifelike, or realistic-like. And uh, more like an idyllic setting, you know, with the bridges and the, yeah, I don't know. It just looks very nice. That's what I would say. But uh, yeah, so we've got the orchards up there now. I want to also place the farm. So the farmhouse, I'm going to maybe... Hmm. Let's maybe place the farmhouse like so. I think this would be a good way to place it. I'm going to try and keep it square. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is on the back of the farmhouse, I'm going to place the pigsty. Try to keep it also square with the, the farming house. Yeah, this, this is a good way to place it, I think. So let's just go ahead and place that one as well. And there we go. So now, additionally, we're going to have to look to place a granary here somewhere. Um, hmm. Well, I've got my one warehouse over here, so I suppose it would be good to maybe place a warehouse somewhere in the likes of this. It looks a little bit cluttered. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. 
let's let's maybe do it like this it's gonna look more natural there we go and we can go right ahead and fast forward this little process and i'm gonna go ahead and add some more benches so you must just try and always add the benches wherever you can especially i would say near the production buildings here we go there's another two benches for them and let's maybe see to add another bench over here so your workers can actually get fully rested just by sitting on the bench so it's good to have it all around then they don't have to if they live far from the workplace they don't have to go all the way back home obviously they do have to go home if they need to eat or drink but uh, if they just need to take a rest they can just go sit on the bench outside of the workplace and uh, then they can jump right back in to the job whatever they did all right so we've already got the one orchard established i'm gonna just select the apples and let's maybe go ahead and assign two workers here why not we're gonna limit the labor laborers to eight i think eight is a decent amount and here we go so you can see they're already starting to place the apples now i still need additional oxen for the farm over here so i think that's something that i do need to sort out as well so let's just set the supply here and i'm gonna push this up to 500 i don't believe the hay can go off so we might as well select 500 i'm gonna do that for both and then I'm also going to go ahead and order some oxen for myself. So I'm going to just send a messenger to Balaklia. This is the closest town. And we can order ourselves six oxen. So let's just see which row house we can add here. I think I want, must probably place my corner row house now. Mm, let's see if we can squeeze it in here. Yeah, okay. So we're going to kind of like place it in this way. There we go. Yeah, that should be fine. That looks pretty square. Maybe let's pull this one a little bit more in. Oh, shit. It. Oh, man. Press the wrong button. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fortunately, it gave me the same print. The same blueprint. Okay. That's it. Perfect, so they can also start with that. I think I've got enough windows here. Yeah, definitely. So we're really digging through uh, through the stone, as you can see. We're using 900 stone for this little piece of building. So that's why I'm hanging back with the, the stone breaches for now. I've got 9,000 stone. So that's still going to drop significantly. I think we use about... 7,000 stone just to build the bridge. So yeah, that's a whole lot of stone. Okay, so we can also go ahead and add our two workers here with the apples. That's it. And once we've got the messenger from Balaklia, I'm going to order myself the six oxen and a certain amount of pigs. I'm not really sure how many pigs I'm going to order. But let's maybe just place the pig stuff first. So that we can just order the oxen and the pigs all at the same time. I do want to add another construction office. Currently we've got seven builders, which isn't bad on 200 population. But I want to gradually start adding some more builders to the town. And I'm thinking of placing the construction office maybe more towards this side. I mean, they are operating here from the town hall. And then we can build maybe like a small construction office. It's a very tiny building. You can squeeze it in somewhere here. Maybe on this side, here by the trading dock. 
That would look nice. Okay, so let's see. Um, I've got some fish that I can sell, so I'm going to just go ahead and do that as well. Okay, and we're going to need six oxen. There we go. Okay, so let's hang back here with the pigs first. I just need to make sure that this building is placed before I order the pigs. Now, I did place a platform on this side to collect the water. So this is good for the animals. So I'm probably going to add another one here on a later stage. But speaking of that, I should probably add some more wells here as well. So let's maybe do two on this side, I think. There we go. Okay, so the traders, they're already here. They came a little bit quicker than I hoped for. But hopefully my messenger stays there for a while longer. Otherwise, my money is looking okay, so I don't have to worry about paying the messenger to go again. So I just want to keep an eye on the cows, just to see where they are going to. So I'm seeing which cow shit they place them, so that they don't slaughter them. Ah, okay, here we go, to the first one it is. There we go. Alright, one, two, three, four. Where's my other oxen? Here we go. Five, six. Okay, I just want to protect all of them. Okay, and then so that we can assign them here on this side. Two, three. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's sorted out. See, we're going into harvesting season here. Crops are looking really good, I must say. We've got the messenger now from the Rikachi as well. So I'm probably going to use the messenger from the Rikachi just to, to order the pigs. I'm going to just go ahead and sell some shoes and also do the sunflower oil and very soon we're going to add apples also to the list there so I've assigned flour now as a trading commodity only 200 uh, it can go off so yeah I don't want to let me just sell this I think it's a good idea to sell it because my flour is building up here as you can see my storage is full with the flour so I need to utilize it somewhere instead of it just going off and I lose all that stock, you know. Okay, they are looking for food here. Just a little bit odd. I think I do have plenty of food on this side here. Yeah. So they must literally just walk around the corner to get the food. There we go. Oh, they're taking exceptionally long with this big star. I'll probably have to send another messenger. Let me just see. I want to see where I can place this construction office. So yeah, as I've said, I think this would be a good spot. Would look nice, placing it almost square with the trading dock. Yeah, that's gonna look nice if I just maybe place it like so. Here we go. Yeah, 
Okay, my pig stuff's almost done here. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, I'm going to definitely utilize the wheat, not the barley. And we can push it up to 500. I think that is our maximum capacity. So let's just do 500 of each. And I'm going to also select the potatoes. We are going to produce additional potatoes. But that's the two that I'm going to use. I want to just also see. There's some of the commodities that I do have a lot of. I'll probably utilize the beetroot as well. Yeah, let's maybe do that. We're producing so much beetroot, so I can maybe also say 500 beetroot. Okay, I'm going to set the labor limit to 8, and let's maybe just hire the women. Okay, we can do two women here, and I'm going to set the livestock limit. Let's do it maybe to 12. The pigs really breed, like, at a rapid pace, so you mustn't push the livestock limit too high, otherwise they get plenty of babies and then they just eat or they dig through the food like you won't believe so you will quickly stuff yourself if you don't limit your stock uh, within the pig star it's just it goes crazy I tell you guys so yeah here we go let's add the pigs I think I'm gonna go let's start with three pigs and one ball right and we're gonna add the laborers and the carters there we go. Yeah, this should be fine. So I think we should be able to get everything ready here for the pigs on time. <laughs> At least I hope so. Yeah, the Rikachi is pretty far. So I think that's okay. We did it just on time, I must say. There we go. So they've got the water and they've got the food. They are all sorted out. Okay, there we go. So we've got our first food here. So all the laborers are currently assigned to just help with the harvesting, which is fine. And then they'll probably jump in to help on this side as well. Alright, so we can also assign a manager here. Let's just prioritize gathering. I'm not going to worry about the supply for the oxen. I'm not going to do that right away. I'm going to limit the laborers to 10 maybe. And I think I'm going to assign both men and women. I think that should be fine. Right, so let's maybe just fill this up. Why not? We're going to add more row houses here in any case. I can assign a manager there. Right. So firstly, we're going to maybe add some additional, I want sunflower, oh well, yeah, sunflower wheat. Wants a little bit of everything really. So let's do that, we can do sunflower, wheat, potato and hemp, we can do those four ones. Yeah, let's start off with that. So I'm doing my traditional crop field layout, the 30 by 35 going to do the same here. And in that way we utilize all of the space to its full potential. We've got a bigger variety of crops that we can squeeze in. I do believe that's the right way to proceed. Although there's no right and wrong really in this regard. But in my head it feels right. <laughs> Okay, let's do, I'm going to start with the sunflowers. Yeah, let's start with the sunflowers.
Okay, so this is we just rotating it between the gears. Oops, let me just see here. Oh, other way around. <laughs> so you fallow one field and we grow on the other field. Make sure they don't overlap. Okay. We can just go ahead and activate these two. And of course, we're going to add... Let's do the wheat. It's a little bit too close to the pig side. Perfect, so we can do this and change this to wheat. Okay, and for now, I think let's just do the three. Let's just do the three crop fields. Okay, we don't have as many residents on this side, so. When we need the labor force to start harvesting it's going to be a little bit of a mission so let's just maybe do one more additional crop field so we've got now the sunflower the wheat and then let's maybe do the potatoes okay because we've got the big star right over here Okay, so let's take this one. This is the last one now. There we go. Okay, let's do the potatoes. Here we go. Perfect. Alright, so we set on this side. It's looking pretty nice having these additional crop fields over here. Okay, awesome stuff. So we're currently setting off to build the row house here. And once this is set up, I'm going to maybe just go ahead and place the construction office. And then we've got a pretty good builder force for the town. And see, these guys are still digging through the forest. Going a little bit quicker because I'm building all the time so we're utilizing all the wood so they keep on digging here here we go perfect so now my intention is to move the carpentry as well and uh, I'm not so sure where I want to place it I think it should be close to the central point okay because we need the carpenter to kind of be in the middle really so maybe I can add it somewhere maybe place it over here because I want to add some more residential buildings going towards this side and then right up against the river we're gonna have the row houses I'm just gonna sell whatever I can I see our flowers really picking up here and we can purchase some additional iron. That looks a bit crazy with all the pathways we've got going here. But I think once we've got a, the whole block of rowers is set up here. And we've got a, this forest removed. I think it's going to look a little bit more organized. At this stage, it's looking pretty all over the show here. But uh, currently here in the central part of the town, it's looking really nice. Very structured and organized. So 
So for your apple orchards, this is now obviously the first year that we've planted it. It takes about three years for your first harvest to come through. So we're going to wait a while before anything happens here. Oh, you know what? I can actually sell some flour here by the trading dock as well. Let's add the flour here. Let's do 200 here also. I'm going to add another worker here. So I'm going to add the flour and then we've got at least three commodities that we can sell. Okay, perfect. So our corner row house is done here. Yeah? It's looking pretty snazzy. Looking forward to finish the whole block here. Yeah. So I'm going to maybe go ahead and add... I'm not sure if I should do another one or two row houses towards this side. Maybe just one. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to add one more block and then we're going to end it off with the corner house. And then here we're going to add an additional two. So we're going to make like a rectangular block here for the row houses. So I'm just waiting for them to deliver the flower here to the trading dock. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell the oil, the lime, as well as the flower. And then I think I should maybe order some extra windows. I'm not going to bother with the windows for... Yeah, I'm not going to bother with it for some time. Because you need a lot of labor force to... Or a big workforce to just do the windows. And it really is a pain, to be honest. And... I personally think you can just order the, the windows, but obviously with this series or with this, yeah, with the series that I'm doing, I want to get completely independent. So I am going to set up the window production on a later stage, but for now, I'm happy purchasing it. There we go. Oh my goodness. We're just too late. Okay. It says here the trading has stopped now by the river. Okay, that's a bummer. They send a messenger in November. I'm thinking like, why did they do that if they're not going to trade even? Okay, yeah, so these people really shouldn't complain about food. Because we've got the store right over here. Just want to see what we can add here. I've got another two open slots here for food. Maybe I should do the clothing. Not a bad idea. Should maybe add some clothing here. Let's add the shoes. The clothes and then of course the shoes. Yeah, we are going to add another store here somewhere in the square. But this should keep them going for some time. Okay, the pigs are very well fed, so that's good. We're going to just protect the boar. don't want them to slaughter the boar. I want to try and keep as many female pigs as I can. So with the cows, you keep the female... Uh, the, the cows, I'm <laughs> sorry. With the, the cattle, you keep the cows to produce extra dairy as well as to reproduce. But with the pigs, it's just for the reproducing purposes. But, of course, the more pigs you have, uh, and I'm talking about the sows, the more sows you have, the more offspring you're going to get. So I'm just keeping one boar aside, so that we can get a lot of baby piglets, and uh, then we can get our production up for the, pig, the pork meat, as well as the salo. Now, I still need to assign someone here, so let's just tick all these boxes. Set the labor limit to 8, and we can assign one work here now apples are gonna go here and let's maybe do we're gonna need a lot of it so let's maybe do only going to use this granary for the apples so let's do 4,000 and then we're going to of course going to have potatoes here I'm gonna maybe just push that to 2,000 and we're going to also place some additional wheat here. And we can also maybe push this to 2,000. And 
Ooh, with this we can put some hemp in here. 2,000 hemp can go in there. Okay, I just want to see. So the pork. Can place the pork in here. 2,000. And say low. Okay, lovely. Right, so my favorite trading partner is here. Marifa. So we've got lime that we can sell. Dried fish that we can sell. Just want to see how this trade is going to go now. We've got pretty much everything that we can sell here. Flour. It's really insane. So that's all my trading commodities that I can sell. Salt. There we go. So that's 230. That is 370. 430. 550 coin. Roughly. 550 coin just from that trade. That's pretty insane. Now, unfortunately the messenger disappeared now, but I think I need to send it again. Because we need do need warm clothing. I suspect we've ran out of warm clothing. We've got a hundred left here, but that's that's all, so yeah. Unfortunately I'm gonna have to send the messenger again. Now we've got the construction office here as well, so I'm going to just start adding some builders, maybe just, let's just add two for now. I think that should be sufficient. And then I'm going to add one bench, just as a resting spot here. So maybe just add a tree also here. A spruce tea tree gives nice shade, so let's do that. Okay, so I noticed that uh, the stone workers, or the miners, let's call it, the miners have already harvested all the stone on this side, and they're starting to go to the deposits here. So now I'm thinking I must maybe set up a mining camp somewhere around here. I think I should set up a mining camp. Now, I think what would be the best way to go forward is to maybe just start by building a bridge here, and then we can get our miners here to start harvesting or mining stone and I'm going to change this mining camp to only get limestone so let's do that so I'm going to only let them collect the mine for now uh, to on, on this mining camp and we're going to ma maybe assign another two here just to get the stone okay but first things first I'm gonna have to clear out some of the trees here so let's see if I can do that remove remove Okay, maybe this one as well. Okay, perfect. This is going to be a massive undertaking. We need 59,000 wood for this bridge. I think it's safe to say this is going to be the longest bri bridge that I've built within Austria. <laughs> But yeah, this is going to look cool. So I had a suggestion to build two bridges, which I think it's a pretty cool idea to have one here and then one that's going also across in the same way, but on the more narrow part of the, the river. So I'm definitely going to do that. So let's go ahead and... Hey, they're taking that tree out. So let's go ahead and place it round about here, I would say. That's it. There we go. Lovely. Okay, and I think for now, we're not going to bolt anything here on this side for a long time. So I'm going to set a mining camp maybe right up here by the forestry. There we go. And this mining camp will then specifically get the stone for us. So let's fast forward this process. We've got a lot of builders now. So I think we're going to be 
we might be able to build the bridge pretty fast. And we've got a five lumberjacks here, so they're going to really dig through the wood now to ensure that we've got all the wood that we need for this bridge. But yeah, that's going to look pretty awesome once that's done. So it looks like they do have to remove two trees here in order for us to get the bridge up and going. So let's just tick these ones. I believe it's these two. Can't seem to select this one. That's okay. I will chop it down. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is one massive project. All these blocks are different sections of the bridge. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Okay, so what I want to do before my refus people disappear again. Let's just order another 200 warm clothes here. And I'm going to just go ahead and sell some additional salt. We've got plenty of that. So imagine how crazy this is going to be, right? You can maybe sell some flour as well. Once I've got my iron production going as well, I'm going to have so many things that I can sell to Marefa. So I've got the lime, the dried fish, the oil, the flour, the salt, the iron. Yeah, I'm going to pretty much sell all of that. They've already got 49,000 wood there. So they've already collected almost all the wood. That was in a very short time. So yeah, you see it does help to have those extra builders. So obviously you mustn't stuff yourself if you've got only a few people in the town. Don't build up your labor force or your builder force, sorry, too quick. The labor force you can build up quickly. But uh, I think with the nine builders that we've got now... This is going to make things go a lot quicker. And so there it goes. Getting our bridge up and ready. You can see here the, the miners have already come past this part here. Start collecting some stone. But now we're going to have the mining camp right over here. So it's going to be an easy transition to go from there just across to all the pieces of stone here and um, yeah I think maybe within the next episode we can set up the mine the iron mine which should be right over here like so there we go it's a very small section that you can place the mine really that's literally it that's it I mean it's a few centimeters of movement there So yeah, we're going to have to clear this forest as soon as we can and build some extra residential homes over here so that they don't have to travel too far. But yeah, this is pretty sick. This is a massive bridge. Looks beautiful though. I think within the next episode I'm also going to go ahead and proceed to set up my first fishing dock on this side. It's going to look really beautiful. If you look at the lake like this and with all the trees at the back it looks like some sort of part of Can Canada or something you know. Very nice. nearly there okay we've pretty much have got all the resources that we need for the mining camp as well so this should go super fast once the bridge is done
Right, we've got our people here from Pinutown again. So I couldn't complete my trade the previous time. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so that's already set up. So they should be able to do all of that now. The previous time when the season changed, I lost all these trading settings that I placed, you know, so... But that seems to have changed now. So they do collect the things. Oh, awesome stuff. So the bridge is done. Looking beautiful. So now we can get the miners to just come over the bridge and collect all the stone that they need. That looks really cool. So they're gonna just like pierce here through the forest. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and all order all the, the wagons or the carts. And let's set the labor limit to eight as well. I'm gonna assign two workers and we're only going to collect the stone. I want to just see them go across the bridge here, so I want to see how that works. You see, we don't have any people close to the mining camp here, so that's why I think it's important that I just maybe set up a few extra residential homes here. Yeah, it's pretty important. Maybe I can do a small block of row houses around about here. But in any case, it doesn't seem like we're getting any laborers here for the mining camp. So that is going to be me for today's episode. I think I've done quite a lot here. And uh, yeah, we're going to have an exciting episode on the next one. Because we're going to really extend the building and the production on this side. And that was my main goal, to get this up and going. And also I just want to see how the fishing docks will operate on this lake. How many I can push into this lake. This little lake over here. But in any case guys, that's it from me. I really do hope you enjoyed this episode. And then I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.